All right, so here's a quick update for our new features for Silo and Milo 2025. Um, one of the big things we've added for this release is the ability to see uh, changes to object modifiers in Milo. So now when you save a Silo file and load it in Milo, the modifiers will automatically update and you don't need to uh, bake them out. So for instance, I've got this simple cube here and if we add a boolean and a bevel say, I can save that and it will instantly update in Milo uh, with those changes. Um, whereas before, again, you would have had to, to bake that out as you do to export to other programs. Uh, so that's a big one that makes it super easy to keep working in Silo and see your changes real time in Milo. Um, let's go ahead and close this and make this big and let's load in another example here. Um, the other big thing we've added is the ability to um, project UVs uh, using the viewport space. So I'll show you here in the menus here. So UVs materials recreate UVs. We have added this using current viewport projection. So if I do this, uh, you'll notice that the UVs over here are now uh, projected from where this viewport was looking. So if I go over to here and I've got this on a hotkey, so I'll just do that and you can see the UVs updating over here. Um, this uh, Note that this works in ortho view as well, so if I go to an ortho view, you can get a much uh, sort of flatter projection. Uh, over here, let's go, to, let's go to right orthographic view, frame selection, um, and again, if we project that, it will do that. We can also do it for just parts of the image. So if I go back to uh, perspective view, and then um, select parts of the model, sorry, not the image. Uh, let's, let's select just the head here, for example. And then if I do that, you'll see that it's doing just those faces in the UV view. Super handy for all sorts of stuff if you want to quickly just sort of get a projection based on where you're looking. Um, we've also focused a bunch on uh, bug fixes and updates with this release. Um, there were issues before where you could sometimes zoom the view for it and it would get stuck um, if you zoomed in too far and we fixed that along with uh, issues like bevels not applying the proper material to some faces and issues in Milo like not showing the wireframe properly after reload. So a bunch of small um, super nice uh, bug fix updates and then these, these two sort of bigger features. So that's it for Silo and Milo 2025. You can download them both at neversender.com slash silo and check out a free trial and thanks for watching.